One of my most memorable encounters with a creature of the deep came last year at a fish market on the Bay of Naples in Italy. Can you eat octopus? I was there with biologist Graziano Fiorito. I wasn't shopping for dinner, but for subjects to take part in an extraordinary experiment. Now, what about these guys here? This is the animal Fiorito works with. The octopus, one of the least loved creatures of the sea. At first, it's hard to figure out just how the octopus is put together. Where are his eyes? The, the, the head is this. Yeah. This is eyes. Yeah. From this so what's side. this? This looks like a this big nose. This is the mantle, the abdomen oh, so of the animal. The abdomen, it's not yes. his nose. Huh? No. And, he, and, and where's, it, where's, like, where's his mouth? The mouth is underneath. In Here the middle of mouth. all his hands. Yes. The mouth is in the middle. Yeah, here, you see it. Graziano Fiorito takes his subjects back to the zoological station in Naples, Europe's oldest marine biology laboratory. As an invertebrate, the octopus may be spineless, but it is a skilled hunter. Lurking behind a rock, this one is stalking a hermit crab. Octopuses live alone, so it's thought that their hunting skills are partly pre-programmed in their genes and partly self-taught from experience. The idea that a creature as lowly as an octopus might also learn as we do by watching others would be heresy to most scientists. But that's just what Fiorito believes he's seen. Here's the challenge he sets for the octopuses he buys from the market. A glass jar containing a crab and sealed tightly with a plug. Some octopuses, perhaps because they've opened a lot of shells for their dinner, open the jar on their first try. Others, like this one, can be given the jar time and time again without getting inside. I joined Fiorito for the key experiment. The octopus on the right is the one that can open the jar. The one on the left can't. You already gave him a jar and he couldn't do it? No. He, just, he, he could see the animal there in there? There are half of population of animals that come from the sea, really, yeah. that are able to do. And the other half, they are unable to do. Oh. So it depends, let's say, from the individual experience. There is some octopus that are more skilled than other ones. The unskilled animal will be given a chance to watch how it's done. Okay, so now the octopus over here in this tank is going to watch this one open That's the right. jar. Huh? Even knowing how to do it didn't help me. <laughs> I need uh, I need suction cups on my fingers here. I, don't, I can't I can't do it. Does he see it yet, do you think? Yes. The skilled octopus sees the crab immediately and moves in. The unskilled octopus seems to be watching intently as the skilled one explores the jar. He's crawling now in the jar, and he recognizes the plug. Yeah. And he will try. Now, its behavior is changed. Now he's carving back, trying to carry, you see? He will carry the prey back to home to be more safe from the other animal. Good. He doesn't want the other animal to interfere. That's huh? right. The performer pulls the plug and the crab is his. Meanwhile, the observer octopus is scrambling for the best view. Do you think that this animal, from observing that this time, may know how to do it? We, we can try. Great. Can, can we just see? Yeah. Now remember, this animal has never before been able to open the jar. What's new is that he's observed the solution. Well, here he goes, here he goes. Look, 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 look. Oh, wow, look at him, he's right at it. Oh, oh look, he got in, he got it open. And he was never able to do this before. No. This is unbelievable. What Graziano Fiorito has shown for the first time is that an invertebrate can learn by observing. 
Social learning like this is a domain of intellect usually reserved for mammals like us. I will be not but as I learned in the fish market, you have to know how to handle an octopus if you wanted to show you its secrets. Why do you need to be relaxed with an octopus? If you would like to study behavior of animals, the animal must be sure that you would like not, never kill him. There is such a kind of, let's say, good relationship between you and the animal, a good feeling. You have to have a sure touch, huh? Well, I don't have it. I think these uh, animals can sense it. Yeah, they are sensitive. Yeah. What's the best way to pick them up? Here. <laughs> oh, how do you get used to this? No. Oh, you like that? Yeah. It's, it's a little like no, a... Yeah, I'll be to it. It's a little like a handful of worms. Yeah.